Hi and welcome to my channel Frugalissima. My name's Sam and this is 100 Days of Sewing, day 30. And today I have got a little bit of a, um, a review of some of the things that I picked up from my latest trip to Aldi. Uh, and just having a, a chat about whether some of the cheaper sewing products are worth it. Uh, but first of all I'd just like to say thank you for watching these videos. I'm doing 100 days of sewing uh, just to show people that sewing doesn't need to be an expensive hobby uh, and that it's accessible to anyone who is either new to sewing or new to garment sewing. I generally predominantly talk about dressmaking uh, but I've been covering, covering all sorts of sewing recently. So if you'd like to like more videos like this uh, if you could please like and subscribe and, and I'll enjoy seeing your comments below as well. It really it helps to get my videos seen by other people. So on to today's video. Uh, so today is Thursday the 28th of September and I've just done my weekly shop in our local Aldi. And notice that they had quite a few crafty bits and pieces in, probably for the pre-Christmas run-up. Uh, so I thought I'd pick a few bits and pieces up. I'm not doing proper hauls and things like that, and I'm certainly not recommending that everybody rush to Aldi. But I thought I'd just do a quick review of some of the things that I've picked up uh, and comment on whether they're, they're worth it or not. So they have their own little um, craft range called So Crafty which I presume is, is mass-produced in China and, and then repackaged for, for their own purposes because certainly one or two of the things are almost identical that, to what I've seen on Amazon um, that just doesn't have that packaging on. So they have a range, they had a range of things that was sort of at 89 pence range. Uh, within that there were some hand sewing needles, a couple of thimbles, There's two seam rippers for 89 pence, a little tape measure, some pom-poms. So out of that range um, I just picked up some some tassels um, that, that come in handy for um, making little gifts and Christmas presents and things like that. Yeah you can make your own but you probably need like 10, the 10 different colours here so you'd need 10 lots of embroidery, embroidery floss so if you've got some and you only need two or three then obviously you, you make your own. Um, the only thing I would say about these, I'm not going to take it out of the package because it'll crinkle, um, is that they are just the tassels, nothing to attach them with. It depends what you're going to be using them for I suppose. But yeah, useful for little craft projects, putting at the end of uh, zipper pulls or if you want to make earrings. You'd have to buy two packets unless you want odd earrings though because they're all different colours. And the other thing that I picked up is there were three zips, I've just taken them out of the packaging so they don't make a, a lot of noise. Three zips, so you've got a, a black, a grey and a white one uh, for 89 pence. Now, if you squint really hard, you'll see that the it says that the 25 centimetre zips, um, they're not. They are, so this, buy, buy these so you, you know you can be warned. <laughs> if you've got a pattern and it says what size zip it requires you should be measuring from the top of the zip there to the zip stop there um, which is actually 19 and a half centimeters which is seven and a half inch seven and three quarters inch something like that the full tape is still not 25 centimeters it's only 23. Uh, that couple of centimeters could make a difference if you if you've got a, a, a project but I'm just just thought I'd warn you about that and 23 centimetres is the equivalent of nine inches, more or less. But yeah, handy um, to, to have the equivalent of like 30 pence each. Um, zips come of all sorts of prices. I can pick them up sometimes for next to nothing in my local fabric shop, uh, but I don't have much choice of, of um, length or colour. And then they can be sort of like one pound 80 or something. So 89 pence for three of them, they'll be sort of right size for um, putting a zip on a pair of trousers um, or a, a skirt or something like that. Too short for a dress and bag making, really useful things for that because they're a nice wide one. And just a quick word on gauge, they, they usually ask in bag making for, I think it's a number five zip and that is the measurement of the, the width of the teeth there. These will be closer to uh, a number three or a four, I think. 
and all it is is a measurement of the width in millimetres. So yeah, you've got about, I would say about four millimetres there. Uh, but this, this bit is quite wide here. I always thought it was a measurement of this, this width because you can get those in various measurements as well when they're talking about gauges of zips. Um, so that's the 89 pence range. Then they, go, they have a 299 range for haberdashery. There were some large quilting clips, 10 for 2.99 and some 25 small ones for 2.99. I didn't think that was particularly good value, so and I've got lots anyway, so I didn't I didn't pick those up. Universal sewing machine needles, 10 for 2.99. I, I don't think that's particularly that bad. There were um, 70s, 80s, and 90s in in size. Uh, a little mini rotary cutter which I bought last time they had the crafty week on. Uh, I've used that a lot, the smaller one. And they are sold as crafting ones as opposed to dressmaking ones, but I've used it for fabric and it's absolutely fine. So also two pairs of scissors for 2 99 I've taken them out of the packaging so that I can test them and just brought some small remnants with me. So that's a piece of very lightweight denim. It's not a chambray, it's, it's heavier than that. It is a denim, but it's not a heavy de denim. And they cut through absolutely fine. And then I've got some cotton again. <clears throat> Cuts through fine. And a piece of single t shirt jersey. So, yeah, they, they cut absolutely fine. Obviously, I can't speak about the longevity of these because I've only just bought them. So, you've got those are your nine centimeter blade ones. And then you've got a six centimetre blade. So these are in, these are nice and handy with the nice sharp sharp points for getting into little corners, the awkward little corners when you're trimming down. And again, these cut through this denim absolutely fine. I think if you're just starting to sew and you're looking to get some kit together, two pairs of scissors for two ninety nine are, are going to see you for a, a year or two. I would have thought. I think they'll they'll be absolutely fine. Conversely, the um, little snips that they have. So these are a little, uh, little snips, matching colour. So the the blue ones, they're all that nice and matching. Um, I didn't find these to be uh, performed particularly well when I tested them before. Although you can guarantee that they will do when, when I'm on camera. Let's just have a go. Yeah, they're snipping okay. I, I liked them because they've got the lock on. Um, and they've got a nice cover as well, so just for safety's sake, I tend to wear mine round my neck, the, the ones that I've had for a long time. As you can see, I've got, <laughs> got some battle wounds, battle scars there. So I tend to wear these through the, round my neck and then keep catching the ribbon with it. So it, having the, the cover is actually quite useful. And these ones I bought from Lidl a couple of years ago, so they're just starting to get blunt now. They, they were very expensive, but you can see they're, they're, not, they're not very good quality. So I, I'll see how these go. Um, when, I try, when I did test them downstairs earlier, they didn't cut straight away, but I mean, they, they, they were cutting fine there. But I, do, I did like the idea that they're locked and that they've got the lid. Uh, and then also in the 2 99 range, uh, 25 bobbins and a little storage case, plastic cut storage case. These are the ones that I'm talking about being repackaged. I think these were 3 99 on Amazon. I'm not sure why I've got two different colours. <laughs> I've unpacked these as well because uh, I wanted to see, make sure that they fitted into my machine. I've got a Genome XL601. I've wound one, one lot on and it, it works fine in my bobbin case, so Genome will be fine. The, I, bought the, I have bought them before online and they've generally been okay, the, the clear ones, but I've no idea why I've got two different colours there. The ones that I saw online, they were all, I think they might have been five or six different colours. Um, I thought they might be different sizes, but they're, they're not they're exactly the same. But handy to have the little case. And again, could be a nice gift if you're putting something together for somebody who's quite crafty or just started sewing the scissors and the bobbin cases. You can never have too many of these, these bobbins and maybe some zips and some, they did have some buttons as well, I think, but I didn't, I didn't get any buttons. So the other thing that I bought in the 2 99 range, which the price is on here actually, is the pom-pom makers. So there's four sizes in here. 
got three and a half centimetre, five and a half centimetre, seven centimetre, and nine centimetres. And these online were of various prices, but the ones that I could see uh, that looked similar were five ninety nine uh, with free postage, so that looked like a decent price. There was one for eighteen pence, but you had to pay six ninety six for delivery. Uh, and then I did find another one that was fifty six pence plus one ninety nine, but it didn't arrive until mid October to mid uh, November, and I wasn't hundred percent convinced that you got all four sizes. However, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Do we need? these in plastic really um you can do it with cardboard can't you it, it depends on what you're making as a kid i used to love making pom-poms uh, and apparently you open them out to use them just had a quick read of the instructions so you use them up and out like that stacked on top of each other like that so you've got two there you've got holes in one side and and bumps in the other side uh, wind your yarn round, close them up together, clip these fasteners together uh, and then cut round it. That, I mean, it seems to be overly complicating, <laughs> a very, very simple process to me, but you know, we'll see, we'll see how we get on with those. The, the, like I said, there's four of them, so that's your largest, that's your smallest. So that's quite, that's going to be quite a dinky little pom-pom because once you've tied it in the middle, it's going to be quite a lot smaller than than that. <laughs> also included in the pom-pom making kit is a pattern to make a hat as well. <laughs> really tiny, small piece of paper, but I thought that was a nice little touch. Um, you've got your instructions on how to make the pom-poms on the back uh, and then just a, a one size only uh, instructions to make the hat as well. So that's just a little extra you can get a hat pattern anywhere, but just a bit, thought I'd mention it. They had lots and lots of fat quarter bundles. I just picked up this Wonder Woman one, but they had lots of, um, they had uh, some Mickey and Friends. I think there was a Hulk version as well, but there wasn't one in my shop or the shop that I went to. 100% uh, uh, cotton and they are approximately 45 centimetres by 56 centimetres and you've got five there. The branded ones were more expensive than the like the floral ones. The branded ones were four ninety nine, and the floral sets were like three ninety nine. But then they had some bigger sets online. I didn't see them in the shop. Uh, it's where you got twelve. There was like Bambi and Winnie the Pooh for eleven ninety eight, which there's twelve of them, so it's about a pound a piece, which that, that's not really very cheap. And then the floral. Uh, bigger sets were seven ninety eight. So, I suppose for branded products, it's it's uh, okay. I've had these before from Aldi, and the quality isn't great. Which is this is why I wanted to do this review. Is uh, these, I brought along some ones that that I bought before. These aren't branded ones. These are just a random pat patterns. They are hundred percent cotton and. As I always put everything in the wash before I use it, this is how they've come out. So they're a bit tatty and raggy on the ends. Um, and that's your full size, by the way. Of Not of the ones that I've bought today, the ones I've bought previously. I'm not a quilter, but um, I, I don't think this is the best quality uh, quilting cotton. But they're fine for making bags and things like that. And, you know, I think there'll be face masks and stuff like that for, for uh, the ones that I've bought. Um, I, I'll probably make it. I'll probably make some like little wallets or purses or something like that for friend for gifts at Christmas. But yeah, just just be warned. It's not it's not the finest quality quilting cotton, um, or the ones that I've had previously. And these ones feel they feel the same. I mean, they're hundred percent cotton, and the the relatively thick cotton. You won't be able to see really, but um, you know it's not it's not a fine flimsy cotton, but it's it's just a bit rough. I think that's probably the best description of them. So those are the quilting cottons, lots of different designs, and if you go online, you can see the designs online uh, at the Aldi website. You can see the designs that's available, but you won't necessarily be able to find them in the store that you go to because 
they had lots of them available. Uh, Lady and the Tramp was one as well, and Winnie the Pooh, I think, and Bambi and what have you. I saw Lady and the Tramp, but I didn't see the, any other Winnie of the Pooh ones, else I'd have picked some of those up for the forthcoming grandchild. Um, but yeah, they had the Lady and the Tramp ones. So the last thing I've got to show you are um, a couple of embroidery kits. So these were just 3 99 uh, I've not opened these. I'll, I'll, I'll do an unboxing. <laughs> So we can see together what's in them. Uh, I like quite liked them though because they're, it's advertised as a, a 3D one. So if I can give you a close up of the picture, you might. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up. But those flowers, the, they kind of cut into the flowers to make them sort of fuzzy. Um, so you've got your embroidery threads. Uh, some multiple colours of embroidery threads. Got your instructions. Uh, you've got the needle, and you've got the uh, backing fabric. It's not Aida, is this? It's just a uh, fabric uh, with the design already on. And then I've got an envelope. What's in the envelope? So yeah, you've got the hoop and. It feel, actually feels like a wooden hoop. I was expecting a plastic one because I've had the cross stitch ones from Aldi before uh, and that's been plastic. So you get everything that you need apart from a pair of scissors um, for 3 99 Lovely little um, secret Santa gift, something like that. If you know somebody's crafty and they're wanting to change uh, the crafts about. I was talking about that on my latest video about Sojo. You know, if, you, if you're not feeling it for the dressmaking be a nice little gift. I wonder if you can see a bit better on that picture there. Um, and it just shows you an example of, of of what you do there, just to make it all 3D. So I thought that was a really nice idea. And then I picked up um, this one, which has got hummingbirds on, which is really pretty. Uh, and again, it's 3D, so hopefully you can see there on that picture there you can see uh, where the feathers it's, you must cut into it to make the feathers uh, more lifelike which I thought was really nice that's really pretty as that hummingbirds so I'm not going to be short of things to do on a, on a winter evening am I um, with all the embroidery kits I keep picking up so that's all I've picked up I think today. Are they worth it? Well I think the embroidery kits are actually at 3 99 I think I think they're quite good. I think the scissors are, are worth it, 2 99 and also the um this little bobbin case. 25 bobbins and a, a case for 2 99 You can pick up bobbins for next to nothing but it's and, and you can use anything for a case. So it, it depends what you what you're going to um Got going to do with them as something as a gift that you, if you could put a package together um i've got a free pattern somewhere if i can find it i'll link it below for making a, a craft bag as a gift and you could stuff it full of things like that like your fat quarters and things like that be a lovely little christmas gift mention the c word again sorry <laughs> but it's coming so yeah some things are, some things are. Uh, the pom pom makers, uh, it's two ninety nine. It's not expensive, really. The zips, I think the zips were okay in in terms of value. Um, so that little offer will probably last until uh, next Thursday or until the sell out. So hopefully, I'll get this video up for you before it's finished. Okay, that's it from me today. I hope you found it useful and maybe there's some little bits and pieces, some Christmas ideas in there for you, if nothing else. And I will speak to you later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Like I say, I really enjoy seeing your comments. One thing I keep forgetting to mention is I'm Frugalissima on Instagram and I also um, have a long neglected <laughs> blog. I, I do write to write on it occasionally, but I do blog at Frugalissima as well. So you can find me at Frugalissima across the um, social medias, as I, as I say. Uh, so thank you for watching and I shall speak to you later. Bye.